Here. 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 Don't worry about that. Alright, thank you very much. We're going to item number two, National Pollutant Discharge uh, Elimination System. This is the NPDES uh, public hearing agenda. And you're probably your mic, right? Oh, I put it over there. Oh, he's got it. Alright. Alright, Jim, turn it over to you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This is the annual NPDES public hearing. It's in accord with the villages. Notice of intent for Illinois General Permit Trial R40. So the goal of the program is to eliminate pollutants from entering the storm sewer system or detention ponds and depositing into rivers, lakes, creeks, which are the ultimate outlet points. For Sauk Village, these would be the Lansing Drainage Ditch and Deer Creek. Associated with the program are six minimum control measures. The first is public education and outreach. What the village has done to inform the public is, first of all, the annual report has been posted to the village's website. And second, a pollution prevention flyer was posted to the village's website, printed in the saw clock, and was posted to the bulletin board in the village hall. As a reminder, to the public, please do not dump oil, paint, or other chemicals down the sewer. Also, clean up after your dogs in the yard and the parks. The second remote control measure is public involvement and participation. This public hearing is an example of that. The village welcomes public involvement. Call Public Works if you notice any spills in the village's streams. Sark Village hosted a community cleanup day on October 16th of this past year to clean up around the village buildings and public right away. The third uh, minimum control measure is illicit discharge detection and elimination. The village has an ordinance that it uses to address illegal discharges to village waterways. Public Works has identified all the outfalls within the village. The village maintains an up-to-date sewer atlas that indicates all the outfalls. And the village's goal is to expect 20% of the outfalls on an annual basis. Fourth measure is the control of construction, site, storm, water runoff. The village has an erosion control ordinance in place to address construction site stormwater runoff. Developers are required to provide a stormwater pollution prevention plan, which addresses how to prevent erosion at construction sites. Developers are required to inspect their sites weekly during construction and after rain events. The fifth measure is post-construction stormwater management. The village has a post-construction ordinance in place to address long-term control of stormwater pollution from newly developed sites. Final inspections are required before the developer can leave the site. Detention is required for all developments in the village. <coughs> Detention ponds and other close construction measures filter out sediments prior to the sediments being released to the environment. Final control measure is pollution prevention and good housekeeping. The village conducts street sweeping, branch pickup, and leaf collection periodically throughout the year. The village's goal is to clean 20% of the village's catch basins per year to prevent the collected material from reaching the village's water waste. Excuse me. The village requests the public's help in inspecting inlets and catch basins and keeping them clear of debris. Robinson Engineering, or village staff, will develop a municipal operations program for stormwater best management practices. The annual activities moving forward consist of an annual report that is made to the IEPA each year by June 1st. Ordinances in the storm sewer storm atlas are reviewed yearly. Public Works will conduct an in-house training for good housekeeping practices. Public Works will mow and remove litter from the detention ponds. 
and Rhymes and Engineering will ensure that developments comply with stormwater ordinances and floodplain regulations. So that concludes my presentation. Yes, Mayor. Uh, I don't know if you would know, uh, Jim, but uh, who in the village monitors these infractions or if someone is doing something? Who, go, who, who do we have that goes around to make sure that these things or to at least look to see that we, um, you know, we're getting to that point where you just stated about the uh, um, detention ponds to be at mold and things like that. Who do we have to, that does that, Mayor? Do we have someone that, that monitors that? Because I know that we only have one person on the uh, code, so do we have anybody? Because I know last year, this detention pond that we have right out here and the one over in uh, Lincoln Meadows, um, was overgrown and I was just, you know, so I'm just wondering who do we have to to do, do the monitoring? Public Works would be the contact for the program. So Public Works will be the ones that would monitor and make sure that we're mostly in compliance with what should be done? Yes. Okay. Is there still a board for the Lincoln Lansing Drainage? A couple of times, uh, brothers asked me, and I said, well, they, they did have a board. And they come back a couple of days and said, uh, Trustee Myers, if they're a board, they're all not dead somewhere. So nobody's answering. I can't get any information. Who is in control of that uh, desk now? It runs all the way through our town. I'm confused about it, too. My understanding was that board was supposed to be dissolved once the MWRD took over control of the local waterways. But according to my information from Kevin, is that that board is still in existence. There's still a charge to the village for their services. And my I don't opinion, have any taxes for it, that's for sure. Could you uh, check into it, find out for us, please? I sure will. I have a uh, item 6A. You do know that every year in this town uh, we do put our leaves in uh, our street we, and our public works and uh, uh, the uh, scavenger company comes along. It's not out of the street. But if you're going to do some other to, to stop that or correct it, then it's <laughs> It's going to be a tough one. Uh, over the last 40 years, we've been allowed to put our leaves on the street and the public works come along with the device they have and pick our leaves up and everything. But now one of your, your notes here said, you can't do that no more. So could you check with a few people and find out? Where does it say that they can't put the leaves on the street? The girls can let the street cleaning branches picked up and leaf can let them prior to throughout the whole year. And up on the top corner, there you don't put those in a road, roadway because put them in a roadway, you get a nice little rain, and I've seen it a, a hundred times, and the next thing you know, they run down our catch basin, and we got a whole catch basin full of nice pretty leaves. It's kind of a, a risk that's taken. Um, the IEPA is very happy that the village does the street sweeping and clears the leaves. Um, there's a thought that eventually the leaves might end up in the storm sewers anyway, if we get into the street sweeping. So my opinion is, yes, there's a risk that they'll get washed into the storm system, but really, I think Kevin does a pretty good job of staying on top of that and get those leaves swept up as soon as possible to prevent that from happening. Once the leaves are gone, then we don't have that risk of getting those sewers clogged. But I hear what you're saying, trust me. Thank you. Any other questions? Trustee Just, Just a comment on uh, 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 If we tighten up that time between, you know, cleanup, that, that probably would alleviate the possibility, you know, stop some of the things, you know, if we tighten it up and say in between, I know it's hard to do, <laughs> Monday and Wednesday instead of the two weeks of prior to, you know what I'm saying? 
if, if we could get, if we could kind of stick to something like that that uh, help, I mean, because we kind of, we still need to do it. So, we we'll really tighten up the time on it so if you're not on the ground as long, you know, maybe that could be a solution to that. It's just something to look at. Uh, they're talking about we have to maintain our uh, check base and stuff. And I know the one down at my house, after the leaves out there, and this year we had that major rainstorm came through. And uh, next day we let it out, but did all the leaves to keep the uh, water street from running to keep the water flowing. So that's a good idea. We're, we're trying to talk into it. Any other questions? All right, hearing none, we'll move it up in public comment. Uh, this is a special meeting, so the public comment is on agenda items only. This is a public hearing. So. Just a recommendation. For the last couple of years, when it's time to put the leaves out, um, I know throughout the village we had parking on one side of the street only, but yet we're told not to park on the leaves because it makes them smaller, crushes them down. So what our family's been doing is bringing the leaves across the street since the parking side is in front of our house. If, if it would help the uh, you know, the, the leaves from being crushed, if everybody puts it on the non-parking side of the street, that may help a little bit, that's all. Okay. I'm sorry. Jan Clark. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Uh, Bernie put on behalf of some of the citizens of public awareness. I'm sorry I can't let you guys give your whole presentation, but I want to find out our the Robinson engineer applied for grants for The question is, what is an outfall? Um, great question. I'm sorry to explain that better. So all the stormwater that, for instance, falls on the streets goes into what's called catch basin. Those are those grates that are on the side of the street. And, the, and that's basically like a manhole that then goes into a pipe. And then all those pipes join together into larger pipes and eventually there's a large pipe that goes in and discharges to a stream or a creek. Like for the village, it would mainly be Lincoln Lansing Ditch. That's where a lot of the outfalls are. So the outfall is where that flow actually exits the pipe and goes into the stream. Does that make sense? All right. Any other questions or comments? All right. Hearing none, I'd ask for a motion to adjourn. Yeah, motion is there a second? Mm -hmm. Motion is second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Meeting adjourned. We will take uh, a five minute recess before we start our next meeting. So we'll